Hey guys, my name is Justin and welcome to Hellsboro, where we care about the design behind designer luxury. And if you care too, make sure you subscribe so that you can become a part of the community. What have you got to lose? There's no mortgage, no rent, no HOA fees. Sounds like a good deal to me. All right, so for today's video, it is actually my birthday or like close to it, whatever. It's my birthday. Oh my God, I'm old. Woo! Because it's my birthday, I've bought myself a couple things because who better than to receive presents from than yourself? You know yourself better than anyone else. So I got uh, a few things that I liked and um, I actually got one thing from a subscriber. Just kidding, it's just my sister. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it would be fun to open these up. Um, all right, so let's get started, right? What have you got there? A knife. Oh wait, do I even need a knife for this? How do you open this? Oh, there's a tab. I don't need a knife. So uh, I got a biohazard from my sister. Actually, I don't know what this symbol means and I don't know if it's supposed to be. Wait, there's the arrows. But yeah, let's open it. I got a little hint at where it's from because the delivery service said where it's from. <laughs> but I don't know. It's still a surprise. I have no idea what's in here. Oh my God, I'm nervous. I don't know why I expected something to happen. <laughs> Just a box. Okay, it's from Burado. Looks like there's a little card. I don't know if it's like a message or just like the receipt or whatever. No, it's the receipt. Okay, I'm not gonna look at that yet. That's cheating. Okay. So already this box is so cute. Oh my God. There's like little ribbons tied around all the corners and then the B Burado logo. So Bireto is like a cosmetics fragrance company from, I think it's from Sweden, actually. And I feel like they're like the super trendy fragrance place along with like Lilabo right now. But they actually do some really cool makeup too that I actually wanted to get into. I don't know how to open this. Oh my God. I think I'm doing it right. Oh, you have to untie it. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, anyways. See, I'm telling you guys the truth. I'm showing you my reality and my truth. All right, by the way, it's heavy. Um, I love this box and I'm absolutely keeping it because I'm a sucker for packaging and also a hoarder. I have a video that I can actually link. <laughs> oh, look at this little, uh, it's like a little sticker. Okay, so I'm just gonna rip it open. Ooh. There's a few things in here. What is this? How do you open it? Tell me your secrets. This is embarrassing. There's my knife. Okay. What is it? <gasps> like a couple of little samples. It's spicy. It smells fresh. Okay, already, this is fun. I love getting samples. And then, oh my god, that's why it's so heavy. Oh, I got a candle. Cotton poplin. What does that smell like? Okay, I'm just gonna open it. So we'll be opening a candle in front of the camera. You know, normal things. Oh my god, that smells good. That smells like... What is it? It smells like fresh laundry. Sometimes they smell like candles. Like, you know, like things smell like candles. I sound like an idiot because it's a candle. But like things smell like, like candles. They smell kind of fake. But this, it like, you could hold this up to me and I would say, oh, you're holding like a basket of fresh laundry. Oh my God, it's good. Okay, how do I open this? You guys, I love burrito, but I am too dumb to understand how this packaging works. <laughs> I can't do this. It's just gonna be 15 minutes of me struggling with this. And I don't wanna rip it, cause it's a present. Oh yeah, it's from Stockholm, it says Stockholm here. Okay. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Oh yeah, oh my God, that's great. Oh, that's sexy, look. And the wax is black, but then it's cotton, it's like a fresh scent, oh my God, that's great. Oh my God, I am absolutely going to like that tonight. Yeah. I love my sister, she's cool. Okay. Okay, one thing down that's 
took like 20 minutes. So the next thing I got is uh, actually something from my wish list. It's not like anything big, but it was, I mean, whatever, it still counts. It's something I wanted. I'm assuming that you need to cut the tape. That feels right. Okay. This box is so light. This is probably like the dumbest thing I've bought in a while. Paper. So I got something from Balenciaga. Oh, there's another sticker on it. Okay, anyways, uh, so I got something from Balenciaga. So I did have this on my wish list. So if you're one of like the three people who's seen that video, you'll know what this is. <laughs> so silly. So it is a Balenciaga. It's just a, it's a ceramic coffee mug with like a silicone lid. That's it. That's literally it. But I got it because I was talking about how I miss traveling and I was supposed to go to Japan in 2020 and that didn't happen. So getting this Balenciaga Tokyo little cup made me feel just a little bit closer to that holiday, that vacation. I love it. I mean, it's just, it's, it's what it is. It's a porcelain cup with a, a print on it, but I still think it's funny and I don't know, it just reminds me of like when you go to these like shops and they're like, oh, would you like a coffee? And then you just get like a paper cup with the store or the brand printed on it. And it's like, ooh, fancy. And it's like, you want to keep it, but then like, you know, you're, you're keeping an old coffee cup, but then also like, I might have one or two saved. Anyways. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I'm going to use it. Oh my God, that's hilarious. So it just has the print of Balenciaga and then the location that I chose was Tokyo. But then the funny thing is, it looks exactly just like a plastic lid on a coffee cup and it says, caution, hot. <sighs> that's fun. I don't know, I like it and I think it's really cute. So I'm happy about it. Oh, and it's dishwasher safe. No, it's food safe, it's not dishwasher safe. Actually, I don't know what this symbol means. Okay, next thing. So I actually just came back from, oh, I don't have long hair anymore. <laughs> Get to some hair. <laughs> so I just got back from Copenhagen where I made a couple of purchases. Okay. So it is a giant bag because this thing is actually pretty big. So I got something from Loewe and it is actually a bag. This was another thing that was on my wish list. Um, I knew I wanted to get it for a while. I don't know, it's, the weather's changing, I'm in a different mood, the, the sun is coming out for longer, and I, I started thinking like, oh, I can't wait till it's like time to go to the beach, and like, you know, you can go outside and like have picnics or whatever. So I ended up getting... <laughs> I ended up getting the Elephant Raffia Tote from Loewe, obviously, because it said Loewe on the bag and it says Loewe right here. <laughs> so it is woven raffia with the animal head on the front and I just think it's so adorable. And I think it's amazing how they can weave raffia in this shape and fold it and then give it a little bit of, a little eye and like make it like this elephant. And I think it's so cute. So it has uh, just two handles or two straps, however you want to call it. Um, and then it has a leather tie for security. So I know that the basket bag, like the actual chunky one is like the most popular version that Loewe sells. But I just think having this like animal character face attached to it, not only makes it a lot cuter, <laughs> which of course I'm in the market for cute, but I think it also adds a little bit of that craftsmanship. You can see a little bit more ingenuity when it comes to like, of course it's not like 3D printed or anything like super technical or modern, but like the way that the face is molded and it does make this elephant bag. By the time this comes out, I think my sister will know, but I also got a matching one for my sister because I love my sister. And she's old and we have birthdays that are like a few days away from each other. So happy birthday. Oh my God, okay, I love it. I can't stop looking at it. 
It's so cute. Okay, I need to move on. All right, and then the last thing actually was kind of a surprise. I didn't expect it. Um, I just kind of went into the store without really thinking about it and ended up falling in love with something for some reason, which I like never do, honestly, but then, I don't know, it just seemed right. Um, and that is from Bottega Veneta. Bottega Veneta? Bottega Veneta. First off, I wanna say like how much I love the packaging. A, this is a beautiful bag. I love that it's like this shiny, glossy paper. Um, but then the fact that they seal the bag with like a little sticker, I think is so cute. But yeah, let's go, let's do it. I'm gonna cut myself. Oh my God, I'm like actually gonna cut myself. Okay, there we go. There we go. I don't know what that is. So from Bottega Veneta, I got another bag. Holy moly, this is great. <laughs> I've been looking for like a casual everyday bag and I've been looking for different like leather bags because I do like how leather is more durable than like canvas or any of those other materials. But then I did see this and I think it's partially because I'm in like a summery mood and like I'm ready for spring. So this material caught my eye, but I actually got a cassette bag. So it is made of nylon, but then it has the same interaccio um, pattern. So the closure is magnetic, just like the other ones. But what I really loved about this bag is it has that east-west like proportion where like it looks like strangely long for some reason. So let me take some of this paper out so you guys can see what it looks like. So it has the same flat bag and it has like the magnets of course. And then it comes with an interior interior pocket, like a little uh a little inside pouch. But then it's just a little a little envelope. I guess if you like had something smaller, you could put it in here without worrying about it falling out, which is nice and it makes sense. But it is detachable. Um, I asked her to show me how to do it and she was like, oh yeah, you just do it like through here. Um, I have no idea how to do it still. So we'll figure that out together. So it's just like any of the other cassettes. It's unlined and it really is just this kind of like, like you can like stick your fingers. <laughs> but I like it. I just like was holding it and it's so fluffy and soft. I normally don't go for like normal kind of bags like this, but like something about the way that if you look at the material, this type of nylon, it actually has like not an iridescence, but you can see how the tone shifts on it so that it almost creates like a checkerboard pattern. And the fact that it's like so like fluffy and soft, I really love that. And it's like a very light bag, which especially because I was looking for an everyday bag, comfort was like the number one thing for me. And the fact that this strap is so wide, I think really is what got me. It has no hardware to speak of except for these little push, push pin, push point thingies that will help you shorten or lengthen the strap. And then of course there's the like aged silver or like this like kind of like zinc color on the interior pocket. Yeah, I don't know, I love it. And it was like the perfect size. I just love that the squares create the proportion. And I think that is what kind of got me along with like the shifting tone and the fact that it's like the most comfortable bag. I've worn because it's basically just like you're wearing a pillow. It's so soft. <sighs> okay, so that's it for me today. I will be doing first impression videos of each of those bags and then later on when I have a better understanding of them, I will do full reviews. So make sure you're subscribed if you're interested. Um, and other than that, yeah, that's it for me today. So if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It lets me know that you like this kind of content and that you too care about the design behind Designer Luxury. Until next time. Happy birthday. Oh, somebody remembered. Oh, he likes ear scratches. No, I don't. Oh, okay. Consent.